I'm Joe Wallace for Turntabling.net, and today I am listening to Saint of the Pit. Any fan of Fetus or J.G. Thurowell should love this record, and um, wow, um, it's avant-garde, it's electronic, it's um, it's full of the devil, and. It, for people who aren't used to this type of music, uh, experimental and avant-garde uh, productions, this is definitely a WTF moment uh, for the uninitiated. And I have to say, if you want to clear out a room in a party full of normal, boring people, this is a damn fine record to do that with. Behold. Being a DJ and being a turntablist and trying to uh, mash up various disparate and bizarre sources, I really appreciate this record because you can do a lot of mashing up with this sort of thing. Uh, not that the source material itself, all by itself, is bad or unenjoyable or uh, uh, unlistenable. It's just that uh, I really like the cringe factor when you expose the uninitiated to stuff like this. And even better, even better when you contrast it with something like this. What is this, I, you ask? Uh, this is a, a, a born-again sort of Depeche mode clone from the mid-80s called Mad at the World. The name of this record is uh, Mad at the World. They had uh, two very sort of Depeche mode electronic uh, synthesizer-driven dance floor type records. And... Uh, they were on a uh, board again Christian label called Frontline, and th that 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 Jesus message is right there front and center with just about every song. But uh, I'll I'll be damned if if these two records, the one I just played, and uh, Saints of the Pit, and the one I'm about to play, don't go together like peanut butter and chocolate, especially when you're you know freaking out your your normal relatives and friends. Have a listen to this. It's about to get very Depeche mode -y. Sort of erasure Depeche mode, but we're, we're, we're nitpicking here. You get the idea. When the vocals kick in, well, let's have a listen. It's kind of priceless. It's also, for a born again Christian record, kind of fabulous. Any day now. But that is fabulous, isn't it? Not that there's anything wrong with being fabulous, it's just that the stated uh, position of uh, said born again, uh, sort of right wing, fundy evangelicals, uh, not really conducive to uh, appreciating a lot of fabulousness. So um, it's definitely a what the fuck moment for um, these two records put together side by side, played back to back. Or, or even individually for the, for the right people because, uh, well, wow, 
Born Again Depeche Mode versus Saint of the Pit. And uh, now, this is this is actually kind of a tame record for Diamanda because uh, her other albums include tracks like Give Me Sodomy or Give Me Death, Wild Women with Steak Knives. Uh, this this is part of a, a trilogy called the, uh, the Mask of the Red Death and it was sort of an AIDS allegory and uh, maybe a little bit more restrained than the record they had Give Me Sodomy or Give Me Death. You be the judge. But anyway, um, the whole idea behind these videos is to, uh, to expose obscure, odd, unusual, freakish, weird, uh, out of left field vinyl and uh, sometimes put, putting uh, conflicting artists together to see what kind of strangeness comes out of it. Uh, coming soon, uh, a Mad at the World and Saint of the Pit mashup. Uh, it could happen. It could happen. I'm Joe Wallace, turntabling. I'm babbling, so we stop here. Uh, more uh, to be continued at length ad nauseum, ad infinitum. Thanks for watching.